in realizations were there between Brazil and Colombia in 2009? Mm, you would have to let me go through the forms to see like if they were matched between themselves. Come on, you have them in that file. Oh yeah, that's true. Let me check. The thing is the doubt files are only updated until last quarter. No. So it will take a time to do I that. need them for the last two months. What mm. so you want to know how many realizations were done between two countries? That's that's actually really simple. We can actually Google map it on Mahasit.net. What do you talk about? Oh. What? Let me show you. How? Huh? Just go to statistics. So let's exchange management, then you can see Google Maps statistics at your right side. Click it, select one committee, here the map will show all the committees. The one you selected is going to be shown in the center of the map. Let's select Colombia here. Exchange type, let's select all. Type of form, let's choose PN. Form status, let's choose realized and matched. So you could see the total of match and realize for the same period? Yes! Wow! So, like, let's see, we go to the date. Uh, let's select from January 1st, 2009 to November 1st, 2009, then click search. You want to see the number between Brazil and Colombia, right? Double click Colombia and find Brazil and also double click. Then you could see the two countries are in the boxes. Now, let's click Get Grid, then you can see the PN data. Whoa! So, what does this number mean? Well, since it is PN data, it means, in Brazil, there are 48 PN forms realized with Colombian EP from January 1st to November 1st, and 46 matched at the same period. Also, in Colombia, there are 18 PN forms realized with Brazilian EP, and 14 matched. Oh my god, so we can use this to track the country partnerships? Yeah, and not only country to country partnerships. You can also see how many exchanges have happened between two LCs, an LC and a country, a GN, all the combinations are possible. That's really cool, but I didn't see any LCs here, so how do you do to get that information? Ah, that's a good question. Just click on the country one, you'll see it in the input box and press get LC data. Back to the map, and then you'll find all the LCs in this country are in a yellow color. And click, you could see the data on the map. Do the same to see exchanges between LCs or GNs or anything. Or only to see exchanges in a different way. Hey ISEC! From the AI office, we bring you another awesome functionality on myisec.net. This is simply going to blow your minds. It's called Google Maps. Of course, you already know what Google Maps are. But now, it's on our very own platform, myisec.net. Basically, with the Google Maps functionality, you can see how many exchanges each country or GN or, the, or globally we are doing as ISEC. And you can also see and check and track your country partnerships through this amazing tool because it shows you how many exchanges you've done with another country. You can also track LC partnerships because an LC can see how many exchanges they've done with another country or with another LC. This is truly, truly going to revolutionize the way that we track and we look at exchange in ISEC. So make sure that you are taking advantage of Google Maps on myisec.net.